conference. I'm not sure what number it is, exactly. but uh, it's been running for many years. In fact, I talked to some teachers. Thank you. I talked to some teachers last night who said this was their 12th or something like that. Uh, so it's been going on for at least 12 years, maybe more. Uh, usually Lars, uh, who's the director, does uh, this introduction, but uh, he had to go out of town, so I'm going to take it over. I'm Greg Huber. I'm the deputy director. Uh, we're really excited to have this particular topic this year. It's associated with the Bioactive Matter program, which is running now. And also, we just finished their conference. Uh, Christina Marchetti agreed to um, organize not only the program, but also she was a co-organizer of the conference, and she's the coordinator of this teacher's conference. She's sitting right here in the front row, and we'll hear from her in a few seconds. I'll let Aparna introduce her. Um, I just want to make sure people who haven't been here before that you know a few practical things. So the restrooms, uh, there's, there's a men's room, which is straight down this hallway, and then there's a women's room on the second floor, uh, just above it. Uh, there's another set of bathrooms if you make a left, uh, and then uh, go right across from our commons area, uh, just um, make another left, basically, and then there's a men's and women's room there as well. Um, uh, you should all have your packets with your schedules. Um, everything is recorded here, so uh, you don't have to take detailed notes. You can always go back and look at it online. Uh, all these talks will be online. Uh, and that's a great resource. We have thousands of talks, actually, if you go back into our archive that are online here. Uh, staff members, Jesse. Raise your hand. Jesse uh, is one of the other uh, organizers, I could say, of the conferences here. And she's a useful font of information. So if you have any problems, you might uh, look for me or look for Jesse for, for uh, practical problems. Uh, uh, we do have wireless. Um, we didn't put it on the board, but it's KITP conf, like conf as in conference. and the and the password is airport123456. Thank you. Uh, parking, I, I hope everyone, well, I guess most of you are at the hotel, but some of you may have come by car. Uh, parking uh, in lot 10, I don't know exactly uh, uh, how they'll ticket you, <laughs> if they will ticket you, but the fifth floor is the, 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 what we usually, we tell people to go to the fifth floor. And, uh, and use the uh, kiosk there, and type in into the kiosk uh, VIP. I think that's the designation. Um, um, I wanted just to say a few words about the topic uh, before I uh, hand it over to Aparna uh, to uh, talk about. And uh, I also wanted to uh, point out uh, a few of the features that we have at the KITP uh, uh, for people who are local also. Uh, uh, flocking and swarming and schooling, if they're fish, are really interesting and hot topics right now. They're interdisciplinary. They involve physics and math and biology. And uh, we were really fortunate. Uh, we made contact with a woman who supplied this image. She's in England, or, or maybe it's Scotland, I'm not sure. It's near Hadrian's Wall, which is the borderline, I guess, between those two. Uh, and she takes these remarkable pictures of starlings. These are called murmurations. That's the word in English for a group of starlings. And uh, this was the image she, she let us use for our teachers' conference. But she, there's also a site, I think this is called Flickr Photo Sharing. But uh, I wonder if I can figure out how to, how to do this. Uh, she's got many, many images like this. Well, I, I can just step through them, I guess. Uh, but they show remarkable patterns, three-dimensional patterns. Or are they two-dimensional patterns? It's a little hard to tell if it's a folded sheet. And I think that's one of the interesting uh, questions about this particular phenomenon. 
Uh, and maybe we'll hear something about that from some of the speakers. But the talks today will range over all kinds of scales from organisms that are macroscopic to microscopic organisms as well. And also uh, to no organisms at all. Maybe we can make flocks out of little robots or something like that. Or, or matter, which isn't even uh, pretending to be alive, but just... Uh, just little mobile agents of some sort. So uh, the topic is interesting and rich, and it's of the moment, and we're really fortunate that we could host it here. Um, for those of you who are local to the Santa Barbara area, I just want to point out some of the activities. We have a lot of outreach activities, including public lectures and chalk talks during the year. We're, we also have uh, two journalists in residence right now, um, I don't know if both of them are here, but Ivan Amato, I'll point out, is here. He's from the Washington, D.C. area. He's staying here for a period of months, and uh, he's going to do an experiment, uh, which we hope to continue if it works out, called a Science Cafe. And the Science Cafe will be um, on April 2nd. So, so I, again, I say this is for the people who are local. April 2nd at in, uh, a venue downtown called Soho. So it'll be in the evening of uh, early evening of uh, April 2nd. So if you're around at that time, you might want to participate in the Science Cafe or go see Ivan, who will be you know rotating around this meeting, working the crowd probably. Okay. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Aparna Bhaskaran, who is going to introduce our first speaker. <laughs> it's like a I'm handing it off, but. Uh, she has her own microphone, so I'll turn this one off. Thank you all for coming, and I hope we have a great conference. This is like passing of the torch at the Sochi Olympics, like we saw on TV. Um, my name is Aparna Bhaskaran, and I'm a member of the physics faculty at Brandeis University, which is in the Boston area. And it is my, I am the timekeeper and announcer for the first session. But in addition to that, it is my great honor and privilege to introduce Christina Marchetti, who is the William R. Keenan Professor at Syracuse. Any professor with a name in front of it, you know they have done something awesome, right? And Christina has done a number of awesome things. Early in her career, she did some things associated with understanding fluctuations in non-equilibrium systems. And that was way ahead of its time. On the papers that she wrote, like when I was a baby girl, I am reading now to try to use in biological systems. And uh, since then, she has worked on superconducting vortex lattices, and right now she is at the forefront of the field of physicists trying to understand biological systems using principles that we have used to understand normal materials, understand liquid crystals, understand rubber elasticity, things like that, to understand real biological systems. And she will try to walk us through that in her talk this morning. So please welcome Christina Marchetti. Thank you. 